you. This is a lovely day that the Lord has Amen. made. And we will rejoice and, and be glad, glad in it. We are so glad to be back Amen. and to share with you, continue sharing with you from the good news from the Word of God. Amen. Yesterday we were talking about the, the seven seals. Is it the seven seals that we were talking of? Mm -hmm. And uh, it was awesome that we, uh, that, uh, we brought out the message concerning Revelation 5 yesterday. And uh, we're going to continue con uh, concerning the visions of the glorious divine that, uh, that even Ezekiel saw. Um, I'm going to ask my husband just to turn to Ezekiel 1 to, 1 to, uh, to 28. Ezekiel chapter 1 from verse 1. In my 30th year, in the fourth month, on the fifth day, while I was among the exiles by the Kiba River, the heavens were opened and I saw visions of God. On the fifth of the month, it was the fifth year of the exile of King Jehoiakim. The word of the Lord came to Ezekiel, the priest, the son of Buzi, by the Kiba River in the land of the Babylonians. There the hand of the Lord was on him. I looked and I saw a wind storm coming out of the north, an immense cloud with flashing lightning and surrounded by brilliant light. The center of fire looked like glowing metal, and in the fire was what looked like four living creatures in appearance. Their form was human. And uh, I want my husband just to explain the four figures what you've read now. No, it says here, in the, it, uh, the, the one looks like a, the face, uh, like a man, and the one looks like an ox, and the one looks like an eagle, and the one looks like a lion. And you know these these things. Uh, the the scholar says that uh, these depicts uh, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ because he's, uh, Jesus came as a man, and he uh, uh, when he came to 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 reign uh, to uh, to live on the earth to die for our sin. And also the ox is the one that, that does the work on a farm. And so when Jesus came, he worked amongst the people. He, yes. he loved and he healed the people. He fed the people. Uh -huh. he, he, he forgave the people. So he was a worker as well when he was on, on the earth. But you know, and the one is like an, uh, like an eagle. And so... Uh, um, and that uh, uh, they, uh, the scholars say that describes his, his resurrection uh, uh, when he soared up to heaven, when he went up to heaven, because he says he will, he will, we will soar like eagles and we yes. won't grow weary. And the uh, lion, and that is, uh, we all understand that that he is the lion of Judah. He will come back to reign. And you know these same. These same figures is found in, in Revelation. Yes. These same figures is found in Revelation chapter four, yes. where it speaks of the of, of, of the vision that, that, that John had and he saw these the, these same figures, these same faces. And it, it tells four, yeah. it tells us that this is this is and it was a vision of God, but most of all it was a vision of Christ in his when he was as a redeemer as he was in heaven because even the same the same description where, where, where Ezekiel says there was lightning and thunder and there was a, almost like an emerald around the throne when we go to Revelation we will find the, the same description where it says there is lightning and thunder and, and there is a, 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 a emerald there is a, a, a rainbow around the throne there is a there's a sapphire around the, the throne. So we see even the revelation that John saw thousands of years after Ezekiel that uh, it confirmed the vision of, of Ezekiel. And we can, we can thank God for his faithfulness, not only towards us, but towards the confirmation of his prophecies, the visions that he gave his people, yeah. and for his people to be encouraged to go on, knowing full well that the time is coming when the Lion of Judah will return. This time he won't return, he must, uh, return as a lamb, 
the, uh, led to slaughter on the, on the, on the cross. Mm -hmm. But he is coming back as a line of Judah to rule on the throne from, from Jerusalem over the earth for a thousand years and Amen. after that for yes. eternity in heaven. And we thank God for, the, for, the, for his truthful word that is confirmed and is coming to pass right now in front of your eyes in what's happening in the world today. Amen. Amen. That is so awesome. We are, we are so glad that we could share with you. You know, yesterday we were mm. talking about the seal. Our God has sealed us off, you know, from, with the Holy Spirit. Mm. And as he has sealed me off and my husband at a young age of 12 years old, and I was, as I said, five years old, and it was awesome knowing that, that the Holy Spirit is so, uh, so uh, uh, evident in our life. And, Amen. Uh, he's, uh, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes. And He is an Alpha God. Jesus, God, uh, God is holy and He's a spirit. And so is Jesus. Jesus is holy and He's a spirit. Amen. And He overcame for us. Yes. That is why we call Him our uh, uh, King of Kings, our yes. Lord of Lords, and we make Him Lordship of our life. And mm. daily we live for Him. Amen. We do as His Spirit tells us to do Thank daily. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And when He told us to share with you concerning this uh, 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 revelation, what John had, John has seen this, he went into the throne room, Amen. right there, God took him there, and the day when Jesus is going to come, he's going to, our spirit, our, uh, 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 he's going to come for us, and our body is going to be changed in a twinkling of an yes. eye, because that's why we know, it's no us that live it, but it is Christ living in us, Amen. and when he's going to come for his bride, for his servants, for his uh, uh, um, not just servants alone, but witnesses, evangelizing, and, and ministers of His Word. He's gonna, uh, 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 pre He's preparing us for it, and He wants us to tell others the good news about His soon coming. Word of God said, Behold, I'm coming soon, Amen. and every eye shall see Him, yes. even those that pierce Him. There's many that has pierced Him, there's many mm. that has uh, uh, bring harm to the Lord, and all that. Mm. But, uh, uh, you know, they, they nailed in other words, they nailed, He was already nailed. And mm. at the cross of Calvary and they nail him over and over again and today the, 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 the wounds that he, that he bore for us is still there but it is, it is uh, glorious mm. uh, when he appeared to many he showed his hands uh, many yes. has testify about it that they've seen Jesus and that I, when I saw Jesus I saw his glory I saw mm. just a glorious white hair and uh, glorious face mm. it's glorious everything about Jesus is glorious Amen. and about his soon coming as well and yes. he's, uh, we want to uh, tell you that uh, we're going to live there and this is what Ezekiel has seen the, the glorious vision mm. as my husband explained it uh, uh, John has also seen yes. God has revealed to him Amen. our whole future, where we're going to go, how we're going to live. Our, mm. our, our citizenship is not here from earth, but it is in heaven. And we're looking forward for those that glorious day. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just want my husband to read uh, uh, here by, you can just put it over, otherwise I'll read it. It says here, after these things I looked and behold a door standing open in heaven. This is open heaven. This is what John saw. And the first voice which I heard like the sound of a tru trumpet speaking with me said, Come up here and I will show you what must take place after these things. Because in that time, in the timeline of, of uh, John, they were persecuted. They were, they were persecuted because of telling the truth. The gospel truth about mm. the word of God and, and that and they because they lived with Jesus yes. and John was the last disciple through the Bible history mm. that lived and that God has spared out mm. to uh, 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 you know when uh, Jesus was appearing to them mm. when they had breakfast yes. after the resurrection of, mm. of our Lord Jesus Christ he appeared to his disciples many times and he was sharing to them, you know, uh, concerning the, 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 the kingdom of heaven yes. and the kingdom of God mm. and, our, and the, our citizenship that is in heaven yes. and which he went to go prepare. And he told them the beautiful, the, the wonderful future. Mm. And he knew that John, he's gonna t John is going to be raptured out mm. first. You know, he was raptured up while he was praying in his prayer time and God raptured him. 
the end, the island Patmos, he mm. was there in the presence of God and he was, uh, 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 he was interceding on behalf of the, the persecuted uh, church in mm. that time. And today there's still persecution in this yes. generation. We are living in the last of the last. Yes. But when John was a raptured, he saw our future. As I, uh, as I read it here, he, uh, then Jesus has asked him to come up and it says in verse 2, that was for verse 1, immediately I was in the spirit and behold a throne was standing in heaven. A throne was standing in heaven and one sitting on the throne. And he who was sitting was like jasper, stone and a sardis in appearance and there was a rainbow around the throne mm -hmm. like emerald in appearance. The rainbow let me think about Noah when the flood came and God saved that only the family, how many in the family was there? Eight. There was only eight, only eight people was saved in Noah's mm, time. Yes. And the flood came and after the flood, God, uh, uh, you know, because mm. of the sinfulness of the world, of the, it became so wicked. This wickedness that's happening in this generation, we are now in 2022 and a lot of mm. wickedness is happening. We, there's, uh, when uh, Jesus also came to warn us, he said yes. in the days of Noah, so it mm. will be in the last days yes. and we're living in the very last yes. of the last. Mm. We know the time is drawing closer yes. and Satan knows his time is coming. He knows because he was thrown out of heaven. He was uh, a beautiful angel mm. and he wanted to make himself above God. God and mm. no one can be above God. No one, no. And he was very disobedient mm. and God kicked him out. God thrown him out of mm. heaven, uh, yeah. which he deserves because no one can, even in this generation, there's many that's disobedient, that following the lies of Satan, that believe, uh, that doesn't believe of the, of the soon coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus came already when he came. Yes. To uh, save the world, you know, at the cross of this, you know, to, to be the perfect sin offering mm. at the cross of Calvary. We first say that. And then he, he died as a worthy Lamb of yes. God. He's the only worthy Lamb of God. Amen. As, as, as uh, it was being revealed to, to John. John saw it and John knew it also. Mm. And that's why you could spread the word and you could encourage the churches. You yes. could encourage the leaders. You could encourage. He was an apostolic man of God that could. Uh, 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 preach and mm. teach the word of God just Amen. as Jesus has taught the word yes. that is why it's, it's better to be filled with the power of God and the Holy Spirit mm. of God than to listen to any fables or to uh, lies of the mm. enemy because the Lord God says in his word that he is coming soon yes. and he and as I said John has seen it mm. as well in chapter 4 he saw the throne room of God he's a heavenly throne room it's beautiful so we're going to live there so it says here in uh, Revelation uh, 22, if you can just go there, where it says that uh, uh, we're, we're going to live there, uh, 21, sorry, where it says that we're going to live there and the, the Lord's light, the brilliant light of God, that same light that came from heaven and shone upon me at the age of five years old, I still remember it very clearly and I, I know that that was God from heaven because my mom and dad used to teach us a word from a young age. We have to sit there as children and at that time I, I, uh, I could see this and my mommy used to read and my daddy used to read the word to mm. us and teach us, you know, from the living word of God. The mm. Bible is so yay and amen. amen. It's a truthful word of God. Yes. And we are thankful that we Thank could you, share Jesus. with you today. And the throne room of God and around the throne were 24 uh, thrones and upon the thrones I saw 24 elders sitting clothed in white garments and and golden crowns on the head. The, the 24 under will fall down before him that sits on the throne and mm. will worship him who lives forever and ever yes. and will cause their crowns before the throne saying mm. worthy art thou o our Lord yes. and our God to Amen. receive glory yes. and honor and power, and power. Thank you, for Jesus. thou did create uh, he created all things mm. and because of thy will they were existed and were created amen he created in, in, in you know uh, uh, in a beautiful wonderful where god mm. has formed us and knitted us in our mother's womb yes he created us there he formed us mm. you know because he knew that uh, 
about myself and my husband, mm. really for my husband also. And, uh, you know, and God knew that he's going to use us in a time such as Amen. this. Amen. He knew that he's going to make us to see. He promised both of us that we will, we will still live. It means that it is very soon that we will still live when he's going to come. Amen. Even at this mature age, our age of 60 years old, I am glad that I know the Son of God is Amen. real. Yes. He is real and Thank he's coming Jesus. soon. My husband mm. 65, we are glad. We're growing matured and we're mm. growing in the grace of God and in his mercy and mm. fellowship with him. And he's the one that keeps us faithful. And we mm. want to be like the elders in heaven mm. that throw down their thrones. They throw yes. down and they know that God is a glorious King yes. of Kings and Lord of all and mighty Redeemer and ever living father yes. hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. no one no one can touch the way the holy spirit touch hallelujah mm, amen and we thank god for that we thank, thank you him Jesus. for his presence yes we thank you that you never leave us you amen. never forsake us he's yes, always Lord. with us and i just want my husband to read uh, 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 revelation 22 and then we're done revelation 22 from yes. verse 1 then the angel showed me the river of water of life as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, down the middle of the great street of the city, on each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nation, no longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and the Lamb will be in the city and His servants will serve Him. They will see His face and His name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun for the Lord God will give them light yes. and they will reign forever and ever. The angel said to me, these words are trustworthy and true. Mm -hmm. The Lord, the God who inspires the prophet, sent his angel to show his servants the things must soon take place. Look, yes. I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy written in this book. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I had heard them and seen them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angels who had been showing them to me. But he said to me, Don't do that. I am a fellow servant with you and with your fellow prophets and with all who keep the words of this scroll, worship God. Then he told me, Do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this scroll because the time is near. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So I've explained everything. I don't know my husband wants to add more and then we're done. Just a few no, this is just a assurance that that when when we when we when we come at a time in the kingdom of God, it says there will be a tree that is a tree of life. You know, in the time of the uh, uh, Garden of Eden there was also a tree that they that uh, that that were hidden from Adam and Eve because if they eight of the tree at that time they would live forever in sin but now this the word of god says this tree is for the healing of the nations which yes. means now we oh, can yeah. eat of it because we're going to live forever yes. without sin redeemed in the righteousness of christ and it says also that there, there will be no there will be no need of light because yes. god is there when when god was when god was uh, uh, created the earth there uh, God, God said, let there be light, and there was light, and but God was it light. Christ was it light because the, the sun was only created after God said, let, let there be light. And and we see that this this redemption that the uh, uh, revelation is speaking about is is counter to the uh, degradation that that human beings brought into the earth in Genesis. But yes, everything is renewed, everything is restored uh, to its original form of uh, God intended to be. So we will be living with God, we will be living with Christ, and He will be our God, and He will be, 
and he, uh, Christ will be our Lord and mm -hmm. he will be the light in the city of Jerusalem. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, it's awesome and uh, mm. we are glad that we could share with you Amen. the glory, th glorious throne room of God and how wonderful it is. How wonderful it's going to be when we're going to live Amen. here. Amen. As it says here in uh, 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 Revelation 21. Uh, and uh, John says, And one of the seven angels who had seven bowls full of seven last plagues came and spoke with me, saying, Come here, I shall show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And then he carried, he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down from heaven and having the glory of God. The brilliance was like very costly stone as a stone of crystal clear jasper. It has very high walls with 12 gates and at the gates 12 angels and names were written on them which are those 12 tribes of Israel. Yesterday we spoke about the, 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 the tribes of Israel that's going to be sealed off. God is going to come. That you will find in Revelation 7. And uh, we're glad that we can share with you. Go and read the Bible and especially uh, the book of Revelation Amen. that tells about our future. Yes. Yes. And uh, God is also going to uh, uh, seal us off Amen. already in His uh, uh, yes. uh, presence and in, in us, in our life. And yes. Eat, and, and have fellowship with Him daily. Amen. We have fellowship uh, with, with the Lord daily and also with uh, with others mm. the, the brothers and sisters in christ and we always love to share the word of god amen and i'm glad that uh, that we could be back mm. and share with you and this is what you see here the back of uh, what we have done is a glorious uh, 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 vision that the lord has given us this is part of the vision that has come to pass and that we flow into it and we will continue uh, uh, preaching and teaching the word of God on the airways. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. We will be back with great news. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we know he's alive, alive uh, uh, a God that is going to come for his perfect yes. God. Holy Amen. God Thank wants you, us Jesus. to be holy because he is holy. Hallelujah. Amen. And his spirit dwells within us. He lives within us now and forever so god bless you till the next time mm. we'll be back with great news amen 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 Thank you.